Hey, I'm Arjun. Hope you're all staying home and safe during this unprecedented time of COVID-19. So, I was just trying to understand how COVID-19 spreads and I was quite amazed that there's a lot of mathematics behind it. Curious, aren't you? The mathematical explanation of the spread and recovery of a pandemic like COVID-19 is called pandemic model. The most basic pandemic model developed using the Markov chain is the SIR model where the total population is split into three compartments. Susceptible, the number of people who face the risk of infection. Infected, the number of people who are infected and have not yet recovered and recovered. The number of people who are infected earlier and have recovered from the infection. Every person is in one of the three compartments and may shift to other compartments over time. Okay, now let's start modeling. Whenever we have to model a pandemic, we have a few assumptions to start with. The initial susceptible population would be the population of a city or a country where the outbreak occurs. The initial infected population is say one. If there is one infected person on day one of the pandemic in the country, the infection rate per unit time is beta and the recovery rate per unit time is gamma. The values of beta and gamma are determined from data collected in the past outbreaks or from the current outbreak. Now comes the mathematics part. The difference equation for susceptibles put simply is the new infections which equals the infection rate beta multiplied by the infected I multiplied by the proportion of susceptibles S by N and susceptibles equals susceptible yesterday minus new infections. The infected's difference equation put simply is the new infections and new recoveries. New recoveries equals recovery rate gamma multiplied by infected I and infected equals infected yesterday plus new infections minus new recoveries. Similarly, for recoveries, it is new recoveries and recovered equals recovered yesterday plus new recovery. Now let's crunch numbers. Let's say we have a city with a population of 1 million and two tourists who had COVID-19 visited the town. Let's assume the infection rate of COVID-19 to be 0.24 and the recovery rate to be 0.16. If we apply these to our equations, we get our first SIR model and this is its graph. See what happens if there's a lockdown in the city. Here's the breakthrough. The infection rate decreases and we get a flattened graph where the number of infections are less. Further, if there are better treatment protocols, the recovery rate increases and the graph further flattens, potentially ending the pandemic early. Thus, beta and gamma are very critical and they need to have realistic values to get better model outcome. They also need to be continuously monitored and updated with data to stay relevant. Understanding the SIR model will help calibrate our responses and preparedness in dealing with such pandemics. Stay home, stay safe and thanks for watching.